The news arrived from Mogadishu early yesterday of an attack on a base run by the African Transition Mission in Somalia, O Atmis. The base, Blamera, 120 kilometers southwest of Mogadishu, was manned by, among others, several UPDF officers. The Al Shabaab claimed responsibility for the attack and claimed that several UPDF soldiers had been casualties in the disaster, a claim yet to be verified by the African Union. Since the development, the Defense Ministry has dispatched a team of UPDF officers led by the Commander of Land Forces Lieutenant General Kayanja Muhanga to Somalia to ascertain the circumstances under which the attack happened. The attack has attracted the attention of senior officers, including the Army's former commander, Major General Mugisha Muntu. I mean, when you see even countries that have been stable for a long time, no, stable in the sense of not being targets for uh, international terrorists, a place like Mozambique, they were taken by surprise in a very short time they had literally taken the uh, whole territories until Sadak forces plus Rwandan troops reversed that situation. So the whole region must remain alert against the nature of uh, such forces because at the core of their thinking is to cause mayhem. General Muntu has asked Atmis and UPDF to analyze the situation and get to the core of what led to the attack to avoid future attacks. Until we know exactly the cause, we cannot give fair comment. But the ATMIS and also the UP, UPDF, I believe that they will do analysis of the causes and therefore be able to rectify. If it was Luxte, then they would have to ensure that, uh, or if it was a failure in intelligence, they'll see how to reinforce intelligence gathering uh, uh, capabilities in the, in, the, in the area. If it was uh, Luxte, then uh, they have to see how to address that so that if, if, when they are in areas which have been stable for a long time, that that should not lower them into uh, relaxing. Because uh, as long as Al Shabaab uh, uh, still survives, is, 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 is going to remain a, a threat. We are calling upon UPDF. Please come up. These are our children. These are our brothers. They are our sisters who are being who are being killed in Somalia, and we need to come up with a clear statement to tell us how many were killed and tell us how many were abducted, because it is now a tragedy and it is disturbing many of us. The African Union Transition Mission and the Minister of Defence have been very careful with how much information is released from the theatre of war, so it is still unclear how serious the attack was. Aaron Mukama, NTV Weekend Edition.